Man, the ops been telling us for a while now that the sub boxes ain't broke. I don't believe the ops, so make sure you turn on notifications when you subscribe to my channel. Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy. I'm back. Um, we got some news on the headlines, man. So uh, it looks like 2K has finally announced the official launch of the esports for NBA 2K with the NBA. Um, I kind of knew that this was already happening, man. My 76ers already purchased the esports team a few months back, and I kind of didn't know where they were going with that, you know, purchasing esports teams, but I figured basketball was just a couple steps away, dog. So, Scott OG tweeted out literally 49 minutes ago, man, I'm literally dropping this within an hour of information that they will be announcing and starting this e-league in 2018 so let's go ahead and go over to the actual article which is on espn now you know when when articles start hitting espn you know they real right now this is the crazy thing remember Walsh from yahoo he actually got offered to work for espn as well so i'm kind of like i'm like dog espn i'm really about to take over low key but check this out man so they're saying the nba and take two interactive software which is the actual people behind making nba 2k all the way up until 2k17 if you guys don't know who take two is and you're a gamer something's wrong with you it ain't just about 2k sports dog it's about take two dog now uh of course it's a makers of mega popular nba 2k video game they're partnering up for the esports league centered around the nba 2k series now i can read this entire article for you but basically i'm gonna give you a gist nba 2k e league starts in 2018 they will feature 30 teams from nba 2k which are actually going to be owned from real in life nba franchises now remember i told you guys a few seconds ago the Sixers purchased the esports team which means that they can purchase well not say purchase but more of draft a team of players to play in their esports league now they also say that silver declined to for any details of the initial NBA level of investment in the league which means they're probably you know talking with their stocks and shareholders and everything about how this is going to go because if it flops then they don't want to be too associated with it but if it takes off they want to be right there where the money maker is at but um also see where it says the team's comprised of five human players will play a five month season that mirrors the real nba season that means as an esports team you know how call of duty and smite and you know world of warcraft and you know all those different esports games you know how they work they work in team sets this means that they will have five players this ain't got nothing to do with your my park player this ain't got nothing to do with pro-am dog this means if the Sixers purchase the esports team and makes a team out of there, guys, they need five players to play every position of probably the real NBA Sixers team, which means somebody will be controlling Embiid. Somebody will be controlling Ben Simmons when he comes back. Somebody will be controlling Gerald Henderson, Rodriguez. They'll probably be controlling Big Shot Rob. It's, that's how it's going to work. Now, we already know if Golden State steps into this, Miami Heat steps into this, it's going to be a problem. You know what I'm saying? Just imagine five individual players controlling four out of five superstars. God, I'm already thinking about it. I'm going to be the underdog because I'm signing up with the Sixers, dog. I don't care what nobody say. I'm signing up with the Sixers, dog. But check this out, man. See where it says specifics on schedule structure and even salary cap are still hazy. They don't know how much they're going to be paying these esports players. They don't know what the endorsements are going to look like. They don't know the actual structure of the the like the structure itself they don't know if this five month long season is how many games is going to come um, be they don't know what venues they're going to play at are they going to play at actual home games away games are the venues going to be right across the street from the venue is it going to be in a lobby is it going to be during half they don't they don't know a regular 2k game five minute quarters takes about 30 minutes 35 minutes to play you know what I'm saying? So they need to figure out where's this 30 to 35 minutes, where these games are going to be played. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they get televised, you know what I'm saying? During the actual NBA schedule. That's a whole nother monster they have to tackle with scheduling, man. It, it just sounds insane. I mean, it's a dope idea. Don't get me wrong. But I want to know where will the cheaters lie? You know what I'm saying? Because we all know, man, 2K has a lot of holes in this gameplay, has a lot of holes in animation. Uh, presentation is pretty good, but for the most part, gameplay, animation, servers, you know what I'm saying? Where does all this 
come in effect? When, when do we start talking about the the nuts and bolts of actually the NBA 2K game opposed to this idea of making it mainstream like this in esports? You know what I'm saying? I know it might be LAN or whatever the case may be. They might not have too much stress on the servers. But what happens to those people that want to watch those games? We know how Pro-Am tournaments are right now. If you want to watch a Pro-Am tournament, hey, 2K got the little app right there. You can watch it live and all that. What's going to happen when they want to stream these live and televised and championships and all of that? I don't know, man. It's a lot that 2K going to have to work on from now into the release of NBA 2K18 and the start of the NBA season in 2018. Now, uh, let's see. The league will stage events, sell tickets for fans, create merchandise, sign sponsors, and negotiate licensing rights so that fans can watch games remotely. And like I just said, all that is in here, man. Um, other NBA owners have independently invested in esports over the past two years. Like I said, my 76ers purchased the team. You know I'm, I'm not even going to try to pronounce their team name, but just sign me up. All right. Um, also, look, uh, various teams across the league focus on several popular games, including League of Legends. So they know what it takes to build the esports brand, but they have to build NBA 2K's brand within esports and figure out a mode of players who are willing to give up a lot of their time and things that they play now for this actual esports thing. So think about it. A person that plays my part and they, they want to get the legend. They put in all that time to play the game. Now 2K will tell you if you want to be the best in this esports tackle, you can't mess with all that. You're going to have to focus on just this. This is your lane from here on out. If you want to win cash, sign endorsements and be big. You know what I'm saying? Who wants, who wants to be the nade shot of 2K? I know I would. I, I damn sure would, but you know, that's how that goes, man. And also the Rockets hired the director of esports, um, investigating investment opportunities across the industry. Owners from the Bucks, the Grizzlies, the Warriors have all made sizable investments in esports and team players. So all in all, my thoughts about this guys, what will the servers be like for the stress tests? Um, how would the structure of it all be? Um, how many people are going to blame Ronnie 2K if, if, if this fails? How many people are going to praise Ronnie 2K if it's actually a success? How many people are going to ride with their actual NBA teams? Or who's going to try to ride with the top teams in the NBA when it comes to this esports venture? How many people are going to say, okay, well, let's take New York, for instance, right? Say you're a New York Knicks fan, right? Would you literally sign up for the Warriors just because their team is better in 2K to play on their esports team? Or would you go for your home team? That That's another thing, dog. You know what I'm saying? The pride get in a lot of people's way. People like me, I play with my Sixers. I'm a diehard Sixers fan. I don't care, man. Sometimes you take L's. Sometimes you take W's. But I know for a fact that I'm a fan of what I'm a fan of. And I ride with my team. But will you? I don't know, man. But this is your boy, IKC, signing out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you thumb it up. Make sure you share this over Twitter because everybody needs to know about this esports thing. And we need to start spamming in the comment section, dog. Blame Ronnie 2K. Blame the NBA, dog. Is this going to be a success? Is it going to be a fail? Spam it up in the chat. W, L, what is it going to be, man? What's it going to be? Is it going to be a W? Is it going to be an L? Like, what's it going to be, man? I don't know. Me, I'm just, I'm just waiting to see, bro. But... I'm going to see you on the comment section below. Peace. Hey, thank you for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, please turn on notifications so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Also, if you want to check out some of my previous videos, I do have two videos that you can choose from on screen right now. So go ahead and click one of those and check it out. Also, if you do like my park and Pro-Am gameplays and streams, you can follow me on Twitch. The link is inside the description.